All right, YouTubers, this is my Imperial Knight Titan. Yeah, he is pretty wicked awesome. Uh, the detail work, I've got lots of detail work in these. I even did the etching for the battle damage on these guys and a whole bunch of stuff down here all over the leg panels and the knees and upper torsos and shoulder pads all kinds of cool damage, used the decals, made it look metallic um, <clears throat> it's hard to see but a lot of battle damage on the shield piece in there um, lots of the face here which looks really cool tabard all of it's all metallic-y coolness base is he's smashing into the cement down here makes it look like he's got some really cool power behind that step um, the metal is actually white striped and then airbrushed I use some some of that um, it's like liquid you know lining stuff to liquid mask so I could spray paint the top without messing up the bottom and then uh, we did the same thing on the sword. Um, it's kind of battle damage too. Put some chinks and stuff in it. Made it look really cool. Um, but I just love how that gold came out. That trim. The trim really came out nice. Really clean and really pretty. And there it is there. Some little detail works on these guys. Bent that over to make it look cool. There's some more damaged parts. <coughs> damage all over the feet. I put tons of damage on the feet. And then um, then just airbrushed it a little lightly with a gray. Um, there's the tabard with all the stuff on it. Let's see if I can get it in focus. That'd be nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there it is. There's a sidewalk, and then I just made this look like a street, and then like a sidewalk running up the side here, and the building along this, along the sidewalk there in the background. So I wanted it to be pretty clean. I wanted to focus a lot on the model, but um, yeah, this is a standard conversion too. This um, the knees bent here. Um, I just cut it along this line and then bent it back, and then. Uh, just curled the toes, the, to the feet under so that they would look like they're cupped instead of flat like this other one. Um, I did the white shoulder pad and I like the way it just looked white so I didn't mess with it too much. Um, I was going to do some detail stuff on it but I just, you know, it just looked so good and I did this one white too to match. You know, I just looked, it looks so good and there's so much other detail on the model, especially with that gold. The gold just came out so phenomenally. Anyway, um, I just wanted to post this. Um, this is real simple too, but I, I wanted I wanted to give him a sense of using that. Um, I really wanted to give him a sense of using the chain sword, and so I've made a motion like he's actually going to go into a strike, you know, with that with that sword, um, and it just came out exactly how I wanted it to. And man, it looks really nice. I love the completed model it just looks great and this will be on eBay shortly so if you guys are interested in buying it don't hesitate to bid on it okay um, thanks a lot if you guys have any questions or anything uh, please let me know um, all of the airbrush work that I do is all underlined with white so that all these lines and stuff really pop out um, it's kind of hard to see there, but some some of it you can see on this one here, and it gives that it, it lets that airbrush paint you know pick it up, give it highlights by itself, and it's a really fluid, nice highlight. It comes out really pretty. Um, you know, it's hard to find a really good example of it on this, but you know some of that that stuff there just came out really nice. Just you know, oh here we go. This is probably a really good example here. This, these guys see they're all pre-lined and then once you put the airbrush paint on it highlights it but it fades it on the highlights which just makes it look really good I just like it a lot anyway um, 
thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned. I'm probably going to start painting a lot more big stuff and throwing it on eBay, so I'll definitely post more videos so you guys can check them out. And um, thanks again, everybody, for watching. And we will see you later.